Okay, let's look at one example of solving a real world word problem. Let's read it together. Lucy bought seven cases of glue to make slime. Each case has 16 bottles. She can make two containers of slime with each glue bottle. How many containers of slime can she make? Now this problem is an example of a word problem that has a lot of information. So before we can begin solving, we want to make sure that we understand what's being asked of us. So if you remember in the video, we saw a little T-chart. And in this first box, it said, what is the question asking you? Well, look here, we can highlight our question. It says, how many containers of slime can she make? So I'm gonna put blank containers of slime. Now I can always refer back to this section of my box to remind myself what the question is asking of me. Now, before I can start solving, I also need to know, well, what information do I already have? Well, I know that Lucy has seven cases of glue. I know that each case has 16 bottles. And I know that she can make two containers of slime with each glue bottle. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna jot some of that information down. So glue, we have seven cases. Okay, case, so one case, 16 bottles. And we need to remember that that's of glue. And then finally for the slime, we know that she can make two containers per bottle of glue. So now we need to take what we know and what we're looking for, and we need to sort of have a plan. So I know that I'm going to have to figure out the total bottles of glue. So if she's got seven cases and I know that each case has 16 bottles. So 16 bottles of glue in each of these. Okay. Well, now I can come over here and solve that part of the problem. So 16 bottles of glue per case times seven cases. If I use my standard algorithm to solve that, seven times six is 42, regroup the four, seven times one is seven, and four more is 11. So that means she has a total of 112 bottles of glue. But look here, if I come back here, that's not what my question is asking me. My question is asking how many containers of slime can she make? So I figured out how many total bottles of glue. Now I need to use this bit of information. So if I can make two containers of slime with every one of these bottles, I know that I have to cut this number in half. So half of 112 is gonna tell me how many containers of slime I can make. So I'm going to divide 112 divided by two. Two can go into 11 five times. Five times two is 10 and when I subtract that, I'm left with one. I'm gonna bring down this two and I know that 12 divided by two is six. And now I'm done. So I know that Lucy can make 56 containers of slime with the glue that she purchased.